All right, guys. Um, finally sorted some um, proper audio instead of recording it off my speakers. So this is my first video. And all this is is a simple video. And I'm going to be showing you um, the looping envelopes on the Hydrosynth. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to show you what you need to do to get the looping envelopes working and um, how it can it can be so deep and um, get a lot of variation in your music. So to set up the um, looping envelope, what we're going to do, we're going to go to got an init patch here. I'm going to head over to envelope two and you're going to turn the hold up. BPM sync doesn't need to be on for this one. You know, free run on, envelope loop infinite and reset on. Now when we click, I'll just play forever so we turn it down in the mixer. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over to envelope five, BPM sync on, and shape your envelope. We're going to put five, four, and three to one, two, and three oscillators. So make sure you have your envelope loop on, free run on, reset off for this. Do the same thing on. Envelope four, free run, envelope loop on, and envelope three. It's a nice long one. Envelope loop on, and free run on. Now you're going to head over to the mod matrix, which is where we're going to assign these. So we're going to assign envelope five to oscillator one's volume. Envelope four to oscillator two's volume. Envelope three to oscillator three's volume. And obviously, we've sculpted different envelopes for them, so it should play in a little bit of variation. Take the volume up on that one a bit. Now head over to your oscillators. Um, we'll make oscillator one a square, oscillator two. Go horizon. We'll leave oscillator three or so. Now, when you click, they're all playing now. Change the decay on this because it's clashing with another one. So they're all like, they're all in different times now. So you've got all three going. And then what I'm going to go and do from there is, um, like I said, I want to keep this video simple. So maybe just, just give you an example of what you can do. So you can maybe um change this we'll go random we're gonna do the wave scan and we'll randomize it and um, we'll then set up an lfo bpm sync on we'll do sample and hold trick sync off smooth all the way up then we'll set lfo5 to oscillator one wave scan Now, as you can see, that's going through the waves. Um, like I said, guys, I just want to keep this really simple, just to give you some ideas. And um, from there, you could actually go. An interesting one is we can head over to LFO4. You could do um, step LFO, UPM sync on, trick sync off, 
And we can actually do the semi lock on, which is going to, what we're going to do is we're going to modulate the pitch, but it's going to go to a semi tone. Um, so you can modulate, you can change this, you can have up to 64 steps. I'm just going to do four for the sake of this video. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll go five, so a nice, nice cycle. Um, semi lock on, step edit. So we'll go up an octave. Down five sem down seven semitones. Up and then we'll stay the same for there. LFO four to oscillate it to pitch. So as you can see, that's going through different semitones. Um, there's movement there. Um, on top of that, obviously you could add effects. Um, we could also modulate the decay time on these. So we head over to LFO3. Shake sync off, put smooth on. We could go LFO3. And our second oscillator, you can maybe modulate the decay if you really wanted to. Quite a lot. Um, I'm going to head over to, I'm just going to slow this down, take this down to more ambient realm. Go to about 50. Now the decay on that should be moving around. The, the envelope should be changing quite a lot. Go into LFO2 and create another similar one to what we've just done. Sample and hold, fixing cough, smooth up. We can go and do the same thing with envelope five. Pretty sure it wasn't envelope five. Yeah, we've just modulated envelope four. Do the same thing with envelope five. Doesn't have to be decay, it could be attack. We'll go decay. Now this is just an example obviously so it doesn't sound great but it just shows what the hydrosynth can do and that's some delay to this Reverb, leave us hall. And that is how I'd start my ambient patches. So I'm not going to go too into detail today. I'd do a lot more sculpting, a lot more messing around and things would be a lot more precise, but it's just to show you how to get things started. I will be doing another video a lot more in depth. I will be polishing it off and getting it sounding really nice. So um, yeah, if you want to tune into my next video, um, subscribe and um, follow what I'm doing. I just want to help you guys out. Cheers.